this can't be a good thing. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. I don't care where you come from. Now, when it comes down to it, if you give somebody too much power, guess what? They are going to abuse it. And in this day and age, nine times out of ten, um, it just ends up being an extremely bad thing. And then you put the government into it as well. No offense towards the government, but you really suck. And I, and I say that the most non-biased way of them all. Hell, you can't even work on health care. You can't even, you know... Sorry, Republicans, but you own the presidency, the House, and the Senate, if I remember correctly. This is 2017, right? Yeah. And you can't even push things through your agendas. And there again, agenda-driven. You know, um... Yeah, you know, hell, you guys can't even stop the drug trade on the internet, or the sex trafficking, or um, exploiting of children, so, but you're going to give your ISP providers complete access in the end, you know, it's kind of like when you go to Facebook, and you go to your feeds, or you go to Twitter, and you go to your feeds, and, you know, what they're following, and after a while, you accumulate a lot of information on them. And you see, oh, well, they like such and such, and so on and so forth. So you you start adding things in there. And whether they notice or they don't, you know, you're kind of leading them in that direction. Uh, Facebook, you know, for the ads on the side. Oh, you looked up baby stuff? Well, yeah, because I just had a baby. Oh, well, we're going to give that to you all the time. You have to go in there and tell, no, no, no. You know, it's... We already get that when I do my Google searches. It generally picks out things that I like. You know, it's something that's been going on for a while. You know, they look at all your information in some aspect. Hell, if you didn't even know, buying a house, you know, getting a job. Do you know that they can go onto your social medias and look and see? That's probably why you should have it private. And only the people that are your friends and whatnot. And you'll see it, you know, for some jobs. My wife worked for a company. And they said, you know, we're going to look you up on Facebook. And they looked her up. One of them even friended her because she has private. And she told him, no, that is for personal use. Not professional use. Whether she had anything on there or not anyways. They do it for, you know, well, I'm calling in sick. One of her bosses was like, yeah, we check your Facebook instantly and see, oh, are they out at a party or whatnot, or are they actually sick? Because people are inherently stupid. So, you know, no offense, I'm not the brightest, you know, the brightest person in the world. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> I know when to leave, you know, um, but we have these things in place and restricting or giving a company that provides us with the ability to get on the internet full control of our experience on the internet um yeah when did this become china no, no offense to China, but don't they do that? Restrict? Anyways, enough with the ranting. I am against this. So, and anyone else out there that uh, wants to be a part of this and thinks this is a good thing, hey, you know, more backlash to you when it hits you in the head. So, you like being restricted? Great. Have fun with it. I don't think the government should be getting involved in this. I think the internet, as it stands right now, should just be left alone in terms of the ISP providers. And again, until they can fix other issues, like websites being able to post whatever they want and say it's from somebody else, you know, like uh, child exploit exploitation, until they can fix laws that are in place that basically protect a company for selling kids and drugs 
because the company's not doing, but they're allowing other people to do so. Until they can fix things like that, they really shouldn't be dabbling in anything else. You know, they can't even take care of core functions. Basic, human, oh, what the hell would you call that even? Um, it's not just common sense, but, you know, ethics. Knowing what is right and what is wrong. Um, yeah, you know. So, sorry, my vote on this is uh, don't touch the fucking thing. Why don't you learn to do your job first? Then we'll have a discussion afterwards. And with that, I would say have a good one, but, um, yeah, fuck off, ISP providers. <laughs> uh, stupid, stupid. Anyways, comment down below. I mean, tell what do you think? You know, good. I know I rambled a lot through this because it's just one of those things where you get frustrated. But I mean, what do you think? So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually curious what people think. If this is a good thing or if this is a bad thing and your perspective on it. Are you part of, you know, an ISP company or not? You know, may, maybe there is something out there, you know, away from the frustrations of the FCC trying to get involved. Maybe there actually is a reason for it so that they can start going after some of these companies and places that do this you know maybe it is more specific and in a good standing but if it isn't you know then what the fuck so anyways have a good one